Uh, we have an estimate of somewhere between as much as eight to possibly 10 million gallons of water is gone somewhere, and we don't know where it is. Which basically means there's a couple possibilities that we're pursuing right now. One is that it's in a large field somewhere, a cornfield that's possibly with corn on it so that we can't see it. We were able to secure a uh, state police helicopter, and I don't know if they're still up there or not, but they have been looking at the entire county to see whether or not they can locate uh, what would be a flooded area. It would have to be a very large area to hold that kind of water. Or secondly, somewhere within our system, we have a break that the water is not showing up. And usually when you have that much water and the water is not showing up, it generally is going into another source of water. It's going into the river or it's going something like that. So any uh, unnecessary use of water, uh, we are looking at prohibiting. And we will also, if we cannot find the missing water in the break, uh, it is our intent, working closely with the emergency government through the county, it is our intent to uh, issue an emergency order directing that uh, only water be used for basic human needs, which means that we would uh, tell our business people, so on and so forth, that they would not be able to use water until we can get this situation under control. The reason that we will do that is that if we cannot locate the break, and those businesses would then go ahead tomorrow morning, Monday morning, and begin to operate, there will not be enough water. We know that. That is factual. And therefore, we have to take this step so that we can try to maintain the balance of the system that we have to continue to provide for basic human needs for the residential population. So we hope, we think, that our system will be able to continue to operate to fulfill those basic needs. Uh, but we also know for sure that if we don't do something and restrict the use of water, that we will not have enough water and we will go below the state requirements and that will require boiling of water, so on and so forth. We would like to stay away from that if we could possibly do that.